once more we travel to the land of nightmares to discover there beneath the black mountain of Vilthid the loathsome Zordrak, Lord of Nightmares. Hatching his monstrous plots to thwart the Dream Maker so that nightmares might rule. Far from Vilthi to the forest of the Wats, where Pildit, leader of the Wats and his companions, guard the land of dreams. The Noops live in the land of dreams. And these are two of them, Rufus and Amberly, assisting the Dream Maker and his watchdog fish Albert in the sending of tonight's dreams through the most precious and powerful object in the land, the Dream Stone. Zordrak is not alone in the land of nightmares. He is surrounded, protected, and served by his tough, highly trained and dedicated troops, the Erpneys. This is their commanding officer, Sergeant Blob. Them workings has come up a treat, men! A treat! Thank you, Sarge! Are there any prizes, Sarge? Indeed, Nug, indeed. There is a week's supply of slime burgers to be won. There's bound to be a catch in it. I bet we could win that if we wanted. Win the race? Us! Why not? Just think of all them slime burgers. There's bound to be a... <laughs> ah! Right, men. Join the race. There will be no pushing, bumping, it's in other people or shouting rude words. Ready? You're sure about winning this, then, are you? Steady! Of course. I mean, look at the rest of them. Go! And here is your vouchers for a week's supply of free slime burgers. Thanks very much, Sarge. What's she doing? I said there was a catch in it. And you lucky lads has won the first prize. The chance to lead the next mission to get the Dreamstone. But what about the free slime burgers, Sarge? We were supposed no, to... No, no, Nug! You was not been paying attention. The slime burgers was second prize. But you do remember, don't you? that I said there was a catch in it. <laughs> Since you take such a keen interest in my invention, sire, I thought you might be interested to see my new voice converter. Not really, Abgo. No. <laughs> I'll just give you a quick demonstration then, shall I, sire? <laughs> you see, if I speak through here, I can make my voice sound like anyone I like. Anyone at all. <laughs> Even like a noop. Or even, even like... like the voice of the planet Dreamstone. Hmm. And how are you proposing to employ this ridiculous device, Herb Gore? I am proposing, sire, a feat of unparalleled ingenuity. I shall transmit into the Dream Maker's house the voice of the planet Dreamstone, calling him away. <laughs> Is that not a brilliant and original idea, Master? Then what? We say we're sending a temporary replacement. A sort of stand-in dream maker, Master. And the stand-in just takes the dreams down. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the land of dreams, Rufus and Amberly have spent the day being instructed in the art of moonbeam collection. And now that night has fallen, 
They are attempting to collect their first moonbeams. Look! Look, I've done it! Hey, we're going to be really good at this. Here you are, Albert. Two moonbeams. Here's some more, Albert. Thank you, Albert. Rufus and Emily are doing well. We shall soon have a whole cupboard full of moonbeams, enough to last for... Who can this be? Attention, attention, dream maker. This is the voice of Planet Dreamstone. There is an emergency on Junius. Your presence is required immediately. I repeat, immediately. Dear, oh dear. Do you have any idea what might be wrong? No. Well, I shall need a little time to organize my duties here, so... A stand-in for you has been arranged and will be arriving shortly. Please leave immediately. Over and out. I'm on my way! <laughs> <laughs> you see, sir? You see? You see? <laughs> Did you ever witness such a combination of artistry and accomplishment? <laughs> this sophisticated and elegant plan master has fooled them completely! <laughs> I don't know how long I may be away. But I shall expect you to give every help and consideration to whoever is sent to replace me. Who will it be, sir? I've no idea, Amberly. But he or she may have very different ways of working, and I shall expect you to adapt quickly and intelligently to whatever instructions you are given. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, we will. will. But your most important task is to protect the Dreamstone until the new Dream Maker arrives. Do not relax your guard for one moment. Not one moment. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Thank you, Albert. Very well, then. Good luck. And I shall return as soon as I possibly can. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Be careful. Be careful. It strikes me that turning a handle while Herb Gore shows off into a funnel isn't a very good prize for winning a race. At least it wasn't dangerous. Usually, missions to get the Dreamstone are much more dangerous. Fatal sometimes. We should have had a week's supply of slime burgers. We've been duped. That's what we've been. Duped. We're dupes. Come along, lads. Get finishing packing up that equipment. Part B of the mission is about to begin. Part B? Ah! <laughs> For some reason, his lordship refuses to allow me to go to the land of dreams disguised as a standing dream maker. <laughs> he has ordered that his sister Zarag be persuaded to do it. Zarag? And we men shall be accompanying Abgor while he does the persuading. He said we mustn't relax our guard, so we'll have to think of as many ways as we can to stay awake until the new dream maker gets here. I know. We'll play games. And we'll open all the windows so we get plenty of fresh air. What's in this here bottle in her gore? Our gory balls! What does he look like? Our gory balls! So that before Zorag steals the Dreamstone, she can send the noobs a few nightmares! <laughs> oh, very clever. And now! This, dear viewer, is the Dark Wood, where Zareg lives. And you may remember that Erpgor's last visit here was not altogether successful. You imbecile! Get out! Get out! Get back to my brother! You think you civilized culture and people! Get out! Get out! I never want to see you again! Now! I wouldn't waste my astounding mental powers on someone like you if you paid me! If you do not leave immediately, I shall have my servants throw you out! I hope no one's expecting me to go in there because she's raving mad. We was lucky to escape alive last time. Oh, but it'll be Herbgore going in. He's very popular here, eh? aren't you, Herbgore? Very popular as I recall. <laughs> Be quiet and wait here! <coughs> uh, excuse me, madam. Uh, hello? Ah, you! Not 
like you again. Didn't I tell you that I never wanted to see you again? Having a spot of bother, are we, Herbcore? Doesn't fancy stealing the dreamstone for you, then, Herbcore? The dreamstone? You want me to get the dreamstone? Why didn't you say so before? Meanwhile, Rufus and Amberley continue their efforts to stay awake. such as mine should be available for the whole world to enjoy. It would be wicked to conceal it, but they recognise you! <laughs> oh, I mean, we're naturally unwilling to hide such a beauty. But if the Dreamstone is to be obtained, we must be prepared to make sacrifices. <laughs> I'll think about it, but I am not going to wear anything that doesn't go with my hair. Of all the most completely stupid ideas Erpgore's ever had, this is the most completely stupid. You're right. I mean, anybody with two brain cells to rub together could see she's a fake. Stand-in for the Dream Maker. Indeed, yes. Do come in. Oh, thank you. Shall I take your hat? No. I have very sensitive skin, very sensitive, and not a single ray of light may be allowed to fall upon it. Therefore, I shall stay completely concealed. And then, when we've done all that, we bring the bottles up here to the Tower Room for the Dream Maker to send out the dreams. I see. And we keep the Dream Stone. Here. And when he wants to use it, we put it on... here. Do you indeed? Well, how interesting. How very, very interesting. <laughs> Come to tell me that my sister has got the dream stone, Urpgore. Nearly, Master, very nearly. <laughs> Even as we speak, Blob and his men are on their way to rendezvous with her and escort her back to Vilthead with the dream stone. <laughs> Wakey, wakey, men! Pulling yourself together for peddling through the woods! But this is the dark wood, Sarge. We don't want to be peddling through it. Why can't we fly? Because, Nug, them green things on leaves is whizzing about all round the edge of it, and I has no wish to ascertain them of our presence. If there was any justice, we wouldn't be here putting ourselves in mortal danger. We'd be at home with a week's supply of free slime burgers. I am not standing here shilly-shallying words with you, Frizz. Now get aboard at the double. All the ingredients are here now, I think. Aren't they, Rufus? What? Oh, yes. I think so. You poor little noobs. You look exhausted. Why don't you go and have a nice rest? Sleep all afternoon, if you wish. That would be lovely. Oh, you go. I'll call you when I am ready to send the dreams. I just want to make one or two little adjustments. See, See you later. later. Just a 
teensy weensy little agorable in every dream. <laughs> You are refreshed, I hope. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry we slept so long. It must be nearly time to send the dreams. Shall we take the bottles up to the tower room? That would be most kind, most kind. Come along, lads. Keep up, keep up. Ooh! Ooh! That machine. I hope you was not allowed it to get damaged in any way. Peculiar, isn't she? Peculiar? Whoops! <gasps> oh, Gorbals! Get back! I think perhaps we should ask her for an explanation, don't you? Yes. Come on. <laughs> Are we going to find a Sarge? Even if she has got the Dreamstone. We're going to knock on the door and say, excuse me, please, could you tell your drag sister that there's three openings here to see her? Do not be <laughs> foolish, Nug. We are... Ah, there's you. Here, madam. Over here. Come on, you stupid fush! I'm going home for my tea! Get off! I'm not doing no overtime, not for no strange dream maker, and I'm not playing no games with you neither! Good night! There you are! If you come for the dreams tune, you can just go back and tell my brother I've changed my mind. I shall keep it for myself. What? The combination of intelligence, beauty and power will be quite irresistible. And so I have decided to stay here and enjoy myself. Good night! <laughs> <laughs> It's Albert. <laughs> She's coming back. We must stop her getting the Dreamstone. I know. How good is your acting? Fantastic. Why? My brother will have to think twice before he starts ordering me around now that I've got the Dreamstone. These two noops will have to be disposed of, of course. Far too uncooperative. <laughs> What's that noise? What are they doing? <gasps> Sarah. Sarah! Give me that immediately! Here! Here! Ah! Help! Help! She's got the Dreamstone! She's got the Dreamstone! <laughs> I'll be troubling you for... <gasps> After I'm in! Not again. Back in its place, safe and sound. I have to admit it, Rufus, that was a really brilliant trick. 
She goes off with an empty container, and you've got the Dreamstone in your bag. It was good, wasn't it? Actually, I read it in a book. Now, see here, madam. I shall count up to three, by which time you will be manifesting me with that casket. One, two, three, eight, twenty-nine, thirty. I'm warning you. I'm warning you. You have to admire his persistence, don't you? No. Why? Perhaps not. Why don't we play I Spy? You got loads of time. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasant dreams for everyone.